Hi, and welcome to another episode of Monday Motivation brought to you by Dominate Your Day. I started Monday Motivation as a space for many episodes to share inspiring ideas and thoughts for leaders in the workplace. As a former corporate leader, I know what it feels like to need a little boost of inspiration each week. So in each episode, I'll share a topic to motivate or empower you. Today, we are talking about gratitude and we're talking about the importance of abundance in gratitude and what I I love an abundance mindset and I love doing talking about mon, abundance mindset work but I learned a lot when I researched all this um, when you unlock abundance the gratitude mindset transformation begins to happen did you know that 78% of Americans believe that abundance is all about money I did Surprisingly, the same 78% also believe that abundance is an elusive concept, something that can never truly be attained. If you find yourself sharing this belief, you might be trapped in a fixed mindset. So true abundance extends to every facet of life, purpose, social connections, physical health, financial well-being, and community engagement. Those are our five areas of well-being that we talk about a lot, but abundance affects all of those. So disharmony in any of these areas can lead to imbalance. That's why it's crucial to take proactive steps in every aspect of our lives. So focusing on abundance encounters our natural tendency to fixate on our wants and our desires. And gratitude reminds us that we already have enough reducing anxiety, increasing generosity, and expanding our horizons. So I've got some applications for you, um, and there's actually several. So the first one is gratitude meditation. Now, I have to be honest with you. I just started meditating this year, and I love it. Um, and it's becoming a, a really fun habit for me to do and to really just focus on meditating. I usually get up in the morning, have my coffee, have my prayer time, and now after my prayer time, I'm meditating. So if you develop a habit of gratitude meditation just for a few minutes each day to reflect what you're grateful for, you'll allow yourself to immerse in positive emotions. And all of a sudden, you can visualize yourself surrounded by the things you appreciate. And it really changes your mindset. The second application that I found is just to express gratitude. Cultivate a sense of gratitude in your own life by expressing it to others more frequently. And this sounds kind of trite, but how hard is it to say thank you when someone does you a favor or does something for you? There's this little guy that I see on my walk in the mornings and his name is Joe, and he cleans up. We're, we live near a, a shopping center, so we walk around the shopping center every morning. And it's an open-air shopping center. And he's always out there cleaning. He always has a shiny face. And he is just so appreciative when we remember his name and we thank him for cleaning up. And we just, you know, he's just somebody. He doesn't know us. But just giving him that simple gratitude and having that intention each day, and that just starts the day. Then it, it will snowball after that. So I encourage you to think about who is in your life that you don't really know that does stuff that you see working hard every day that you can give them. It might be your postman. It might be um, somebody in your office that is doing something for you every day. Just take a moment to say thank you. And then concentrate on abundance. This is big. So many times we're focused on what we don't have and what we lack and what we already, what we don't have. And what we're saying here is to shift your focus from what you lack to what you already possess. And just being grateful for the roof over your head, the food on your table, and the basics that many take for granted. Another friend of mine told me recently, um, she's in Houston and she works in a school, and she found out that one of the moms was homeless and her kids are really smart and she's been homeschooling them. And she helped her get a job and now we're all sending her clothes. And this woman is extremely grateful. Now my friend Kathy did not have to go out of her way to help this person, 
but she saw a need. And sometimes when we see needs we have, and then we take care of somebody that has far more needs, sleeping in their car, no bed to sleep on, it, it just helps you realize um, that we take so much for granted. So concentrating on abundance attracts more of it into your life. So don't dwell on what you lack. I love how Oprah Winfrey put it. She said, being thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll never have enough. I think that's so appropriate for that message. And then number four, take inventory of blessings. I mean, how many times, I want to ask you guys, how many times have you really thought about all the things that you have that you've been blessed with? It's your health, your loved ones, talents, achievements, whatever they are, appreciating those gifts reinforce the idea that you have everything you need. So to establish a strong foundation for this mindset shift, consider the following questions. And you'll find this, this is a great question to ask yourself in a meditation. There's a lot of meditation apps out there. I think Mind Valley is one I liked. Uh, Doug Desponza, I like his. Um, but here's some questions you can think about when you are ready to make this shift. What are you truly grateful for? What aspects of your life bring you the most joy? Who are the people I love and who love me in return? And then what accomplishments am I most proud of? And when you embrace affirm affirmations like, I have enough, I am blessed, life provides for me, this shift in your mindset can yield profound effects. So part of the resources I want to recommend to you this week are finding some good meditations, some affirmations, getting around some positive people. Um, I recommend the, the Mind Valley free meditation on abundance. And then just embrace the power of gratitude and unlock the abundance that's waiting for you in every aspect of your life. And this has been another episode of Dominate Your Day. We are excited to have you here and here are... I'm sorry, I'm going to say this over again. This has been another episode of Muddy Motivation from Dominate Your Day. Feel free to follow, like, and subscribe for more inspiring episodes. Are you ready to take your strength development to the next level? Be sure to check out The Strengths Journal. It's available on Amazon. It contains daily prompts to help you discover and apply your Clifton Strengths every single day. If you're a difference maker who wants to maximize your potential, reach out to at DanaWilliamsCo.com to schedule a free discovery call. Together, we can help you live in your strengths, dominate your day, and transform your life.